All right, so hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you don't know me yet, my name is Guy and in this channel, I actually document my journey towards financial freedom by trying different side hustles like ways to make money online, mining crypto and much, much more in order that you will be able to see what is working, what is not working and actually save your time and money and hopefully will teach you ways that you will actually make your own money. So in today's video, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about myself, who am I and a little bit about a few ways that you can start taking action right after you will finish the video to start making money online. So let's jump into it. So hello everyone, my name is Guy and in this channel I document my journey towards financial freedom by trying different side hustles and showing you how you can start them too and start your own journey towards financial freedom. So who am I? I am Guy, my name is Guy, I'm 22 years old and currently I have a few side hustles that I'm working on. I also have a 9 to 5 job and a few side hustles. One of the side hustles that I'm doing currently is I actually edit videos for companies of doing actually tutorials of how to use different softwares and different apps. And this is actually another way that I generate income. So if you know someone that needs, that will do tutorials of how to use different apps or different softwares, that I will do screen record and doing it with a professional microphone. And I'm editing the videos as well and create the script myself, that it will be great. Or it's for guidance, guidance and tutorials, or it's for ads. And yeah, so this is one of the side hustles that I do. I currently ordered and I'm collecting the whole all the parts to start mining crypto from my own home. So this is another thing that I'm doing at the moment. Another thing that I'm currently doing besides the mining and besides the crypto is actually I invest mainly focusing on the long term investing way. This is my main focus. And I also work on a few projects. I develop a cash cow at the moment. Um, the, I'm building the content and creating the content to create the cash cow that will manifest in the future. Uh, kind of semi-passive income because in the future when I will start making a lot of money from it I will start to actually outsource most of the content what will enable me to make more content and to create more sources of income and become financially free. Besides the cash cow, I have another project that in the next two months, I'm going to actually share with you what is it, why it's a big deal and what it's taking most of my time and that's the main reason why I actually started to post YouTube just once or twice a week because I'm currently working day from day to night about those projects, the project of the cash cow and the project of a business model that I will tell you in the future, in the next, in the close future. But it's something pretty cool. So stay tuned and be sure to watch my lives on my TikTok. This is my TikTok that is jumping right now. So feel free to go to the link below the video so you will be able to get to my TikTok as well and watch there because I usually don't stream on YouTube because I don't have a lot of subscribers yet I usually stream and do lives on my TikTok. Okay so some of the side hustles that I decided to try and start and see that I received good results are testing websites, writing subtitles for movies and audio files, graphic design, drop shipping. I decided to try and I had two stores and I succeeded to make sales and to have revenue and all that and to create actually a funnel that function. So also you can watch some videos about drop shipping. You can watch videos of managing social media pages. I created a whole video explaining about social media theme pages that I that I manage on Instagram mainly and TikTok. So those are also uh, side hustles that you can start. You can do that for your own amusement or you can choose to make money from it. It's absolutely your choice. So I will link below all the videos for all the side hustles that I'm speaking at the moment. You know what? Let's talk about a few side hustles that you can start without any experience. Writing subtitles, proofreading, graphic design. You can design posts for social media, logos. You can create Facebook covers, YouTube art, thumbnails that every single day when you will find, let's say even just just uh, five channels, YouTube channels that are posting consistently every single day and you will create the thumbnails for them, you will see that you will be able to generate a lot, a lot, a lot of income because a good thumbnail, when you will learn the fundamentals and I have a video linked in here that you will understand exactly how to create a converting high click through rate thumbnail. And you will see that it's not that big of a deal. You just need to understand the fundamentals of which tweaks you need to focus on in order to actually create thumbnails that will increase the click through rate of the channels that you're working on. So they will want to work with you more and 
potentially give you the opportunity to work with them on more projects and to make more money. You will be able to generate even percentage of the income of the video when it passes a click-through rate percentage that will actually motivate you and the channel owners to actually bring the most traffic to the video, which will be a win-win situation. They will get more views, so they will get more money about ads and you will get more money because you will pass the click-through rate that, that you agreed between you that when you pass this, you will get a small amount of the money that they earn or stuff like that. So this is another idea that you can start. Another thing that you can start that I think that will be very, very simple for you. And I genuinely think that most people underrated it because it doesn't sound cool, but it's actually to resell products. Okay. You can go to Craigslist and if you don't have money, you don't have to sell products that you buy. You can go to the free section, sell them, you can go to the free section, find some products, go to, to the owners of those products, flip couches, chairs, phones, computers, you can, uh, screens, you can you have so many things in there and you can flip them and then sell them on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay and stuff like that. Besides that, you can go to the free section on, on Facebook Marketplace. Absolutely a great source that you can actually make sales from. Another great side hustle that I think that will be very, very valuable to you is to start mining, okay? And to mine with your computer because most of the usual computers are more than enough to start mining some coins, not now Bitcoin or Ethereum, but there are a lot of other cryptos that you can start mining and you can actually convert them to real money, to, to, to dollar, to euro, and all of that, to yen, to yen um, in, AT, in Bitcoin's ATM, okay? You just churn all this money into Bitcoin. You can choose a marketplace like Binance or Coinbase and stuff like that and actually to withdraw the money and to use this as dollars, okay? As your own money. And even if your computer, let's say, will give you a regular uh, gaming GPU, will generate you $20 a month or even $30 a month, okay? But it's still a passive source of income that when you go to school, when you go to work, your computer is working at home and after it costs, of course, that you should do your due diligence and check in every country what is the rules about mining and what is your profitability and what is the hash rate of your personal GPU. And I'll put an explanation here of what is hash rate and what is GPU. But in the end of the day, the main focus is to create sources of income. You don't need to start by finding the next next uh, one billion dollars idea because probably probably what you thought of at least one person thought of in the world okay and that's fine it doesn't mean that you don't need to try but you need to understand that there are a lot of smart people in the world and there are a lot of great ideas and I think that in order to actually make your dreams a reality and your ideas as reality, it will be a very smart idea to first get to a stage that you have passive sources of income and to build them slowly but surely. Even to have a $50 passive income from your computer or $20 or $30, but it will be every single month you will see the gang into your bank account or to your crypto wallet and then you turn it to real money. Or you can do that with uh, an IRA. You can put like in the United States, this is a Roth IRA, which is tax free and you can actually withdraw it whenever you want and you need only to pay for the profits but you don't need to pay on the investing and the investments itself. IRA it's an individual retirement account but you can actually withdraw it okay a Roth IRA an IRA if I'm not mistaken you you need to pay taxes on it but a lot of countries you have IRAs that you can actually invest in them and to withdraw them whatever. A Roth IRA it's like an upgraded mode say strong trust fund because usually it's around the average increase in percents of the market okay if you're investing in a little bit higher risk or it can be even higher and a trust fund usually one of the basic stuff the basic rules when you're choosing which trust fund to invest is to choose one that you actually make more than the average increase of the stock market okay so this is another source of passive income that you can make because think that you choose an IRA or a Roth IRA or a trust fund that is giving you 10% increase a year and there are also some trust funds that brings you dividends so it's also a passive source of income okay and you can and in some stage you can actually withdraw some of the money so your money's still growing but you still can use the money that you actually save okay so this is another source of income a passive source of income that you can use another passive source of income that is absolutely amazing is actually to put your designs you can design on canva i have a full playlist of graphic design on 
on Canva. It's absolutely free and beginners friendly. You can click in here and you will learn how to design and actually to have royalties on your designs on different websites like Amazon Merch or Printful or Printify. Or there are a lot of websites that you can actually put your designs and if someone chooses to use them, he needs to pay you some of the profits that he made when he sold a t-shirt or a merch with your design. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It just you need to take the time and I find that even relaxing, okay? After a long day, you can do, do some designs. Pretty cool. Choose a niche that you like, whether it's money, investing, cooking, animals. You can choose whatever. Do some designs for t-shirts. I will make a full video about how to design t-shirts. I made a TikTok about it, so I'll link this video below as well. But in general, you just do some designs on Canva, download it and upload it to the different sites as a PNG or a JPEG. And yeah, and that way you will be able to get royalties about that. And there are a lot of people that are making very good money about it. There are a lot of tutorials online on YouTube that are doing it currently a print on demand. Some of them you actually work in your store, but some of them you just post them. And if you post consistently, so there is a lot of exposure like uh, Amazon Merch, for example, this website has a lot of traffic anyway. So if you will post consistently some designs, you have a chance, a big chance actually, to start generating some income and especially when your design is good, okay? But you won't know if you're how to design properly if you won't try again and again and again. I believe that it's important that you will watch this video and understand where do you stand in your life and what can you improve financially, physically, emotionally in order to create in the future a better reality than you have right now, okay? Now, the earlier you start this process of creating sources of income, of investing, of creating a side hustle of getting to a place that you don't have to have a job. You can work in a nine to five job if you like your job, but this is not your only source of income. And I think that a lot of people just don't understand the vulnerability of one source of income, okay? I think that it's essential in this world to have at least three sources of income that, and to grow them and to get to a stage that you don't count only on one. That way, if one of them, if the, we'll call it, the fountain is just closed, you still have other stuff to do, okay? And the more passive those sources, usually it takes more time to create, to generate a, a good income, like an index fund, or to, or to have income from dividends, or to have from uh, YouTube channels or theme pages. Absolutely, it takes time, but this time can 10 times, 10x your free time in the future. So I believe that it's worth it. You should decide with yourself. Do you wanna eat the whole sweet part of the, uh, of the food on the plate right now? Or to eat part of the sweet and part of the bitter and the salty in order that in the future you will have hundreds of thousands sweet food on plate, okay? Like, I don't know if this, if this is a good example, but the idea is that I think that, and that's why I created this channel, to actually make the idea of making money online and investing and creating passive source of income much more accessible than I found on different books and different YouTube channels that people are usually using a lot of financial terms that they learned on the university, but the majority don't really know the, the meaning of the words. And because there are a lot of words that they don't understand you're just losing interest and then or jump out of the video or worse they're just wasting their time watching the whole video and not taking action and feel bad that they don't, didn't take action. So that's why I'm focusing on this channel to make it the most value as possible, to try to bring it the most value as possible in the simplest way that I will be able to explain it to anyone. That way, I believe that it will actually push more people to start taking action. Because it doesn't matter to me if you will start taking action. I started my own journey towards financial freedom by educating myself and to understand the process of where to what process should I start and where do I want to go? Okay, because if you don't have a clear goal of where you want to go, you will beat yourself up on dumb stuff. Okay, let's say that your main goal is to get to $500,000 a month. So it's not like that you have a goal to have $500,000 $500, um, a year. Okay, this is absolutely different goals. And if this goal that you want to have uh, $500,000 a year in the next 10 years, it's absolutely different from the next 20 years or the this year. Okay, it's important actually to sit with yourself and to be honest. Where do you want to stand? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be in five years from now, 10 years from now, one year from now? 
on your next birthday? Where do you want to be and why? Understand why. If you're doing it for other people and not for yourself, usually there is an end to how, uh, how it can impact you. There is an end. But if you will find your own purpose, why it really matters to you, what is your why? What is the main reason you want that? Okay, you want what you want, whether it's control on your life, whether it's have free time to, to spend with your family, whether it's to travel the world. If you want to get to this stage, the sooner you will start, probably the faster that you will get it, the earlier that you will get it. And the younger you are, the easiest is to start because the younger you are, you can make more mistakes and no one will judge you, okay? Like if you're 22 and you live with your parents, nobody gives. But if you're probably uh, 40, so I'm not saying that it's bad to go back to your parents. It's absolutely fine. But most people, feel embarrassed trying to impress Karen from uh, 10th grade that she was the popular queen of the class even though today she's uh, I don't know what unemployed okay <laughs> like in the end of the day it's I know that uh, I know that if you sit with yourself and understand why you're doing the things that you're doing you will have much more clarity and the more clarity that you will have it will be for you to create daily habits that will bring you closer and closer towards your goal because i believe i don't know you personally but i believe that if someone will tell you that you have that you can meet your meet yourself a 10 year old self and to give yourself a plan that you if you will work through it today you will be in the absolutely different place and you probably had 10 times of your, your income okay 10 times of your income if you will start if you were 10 right now and it doesn't matter if you're 13 in three years you can do many stuff so i generally think that it's important that you will start taking action okay it's important to learn it's important to educate yourself those are great websites that you can learn for free um, and to educate yourself but there's, there are a lot of ways that you can start doing, uh, start educating yourself, but there is ever, never an end. So I think that you need to understand the main concept and start taking action, okay? Take baby steps, but take them, okay? Because one hour of work is much better than 10 hours of thinking about it. All right, so this is it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and the subscribe button so you won't miss any future videos. And be sure to click in here, which you will watch the full playlist of loads of loads of ways that you can start making money online right now.